So uh, in this video, I'm going to focus on a more random uh, kind of product search for eBay products. This is mainly for arbitrage and drop shipping. I do use a Google Sheet that I created in order to automatically extract the product data. And usually in a lot of my other videos, I talk about using a brands list such as this brands list from Walmart in order to find products from a certain supplier such as Walmart. But in this video, I'm going more general meaning I'm going to search more in a particular type of product to see what I find. And it could be any supplier. All right. Um, so basically what I mean, for example, I'll just give you an example. Let's say I'll, I search for for now, if you're in drop shipping, you might be interested in doing couches or sofas or something like that. All right. For instance, not so much for arbitrage, but maybe for arbitrage too, depending on how you're selling the products right but um so you might type in that couches or sofas right and what i will then do is go to the advanced oh, get rid of that go to the advanced search and mainly i want to find things that actually sold so i'm going to click on sold items and i'm going to use buy it now you don't have to use buy now. It depends on if you're interested in some other method of selling. Maybe you want to use something that's more, you know, uh, follows what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to use buy it now, especially if I'm drop shipping. I'm going to use buy it now. Condition new, but you might be doing used, so then you could use used as well. Okay, if you're doing that, um, shipping. If you want to find people who are also doing who are doing free shipping, you can do that. Um, I'm going to do us only I'm in the US. I'm just looking for people. Mostly I'm going to be looking for my competition right here in the US. And so, um, that's it. I'm just going to do a small number. You can do a larger number of results per page. I, I like to do a smaller number when I do these videos cause it's faster to process in my system. So, um, all right. So here are results, all right? And basically I can actually begin to take a look at some of these results. Uh, they do have sold dates on them. Sold dates are not always actually sold dates. They're sometimes like completed dates, but they are actually sold dates as well. Uh, but you can check more specifically. You can see that this was sold. In fact, um, this product was sold. I don't see actually a sales history link for this particular one. Uh, actually, eBay removed sales history links, but some of the ended listings still have them. Okay. Uh, but that one did not because it only sold once. I think that might be why. But um, the point is here, you can open them. Some are ended, some are sold. Okay, you, you get different results on different products. And this manual process takes time, right, to really go through these manually. I really don't want to do that, which is why I created this Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do is take this URL and copy it. Okay, and actually bring it over here and just paste it right in to this Google Sheet. E-Scraper Sourcer, extract the current eBay page, and it's going to extract the data. The great thing, by the way, while it's working, I'll just explain that this does not use any kind of API service to do this. I'm actually just using uh, the, the ability to connect to a site from Google Sheets, and then I'm actually just scraping the HTML from eBay and pulling out the data that uh, I want. And so because of that, there is no monthly charge to use this or anything like that. All right. So this is just, this works all inside of Google sheets. It does not require or connect to anything external, no external software to pull in this eBay data. So that's a good thing, right? Um, you can also extract the next eBay page automatically, and you can also continue. If you select continue, it will actually continue extracting more pages. Uh, about I think 10 minutes from the moment you click it, it will continue to automatically extract more and more pages automatically. All right. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, what I'll do for now is I'll extract the next eBay page because I don't want to wait for it to start. Um, so I'm going to use extract, but when you're using this system, you can go ahead and use continue and it will keep, that's good if you want to walk away from it. Okay. Anyway, here's the uh, results and all the results are here. Um, some of these might just be, you have to see why those didn't come out. They could be um, 
listings that have been removed from eBay or something like that. Yeah, okay, so so this was removed from eBay, so you do get some like that. But you ignore that. You don't worry about that. You concern yourself with the ones that work, right? <laughs> with the ones where you have results. Okay, these are all ended, okay? These were ended. They did not sell. You can see this is showing you which listings ended, true. Which ones that ended, it was marked as sold. Okay, those are the ones that actually sold. Um, you can see things that sold in the last 24 hours and how many, right? And you can gravitate towards those, but I'm finding with arbitrage and dropshipping a lot of times, if they've really, if they're selling like really, really uh, tremendously in the last 24 hours compared to other products, they tend not to be profitable at the same time. They, they're usually like very low price, even below the supplier. So, but you can, I mean, still take a look. Sometimes it might be a gem amongst those. All right. So, um, but now anyway, so you can do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just open up one that has sold five times in the last 24 hours just to make my, uh, for demonstration purposes, we see five sold in the last 24 hours. So you see it was scraped into the Google sheet. You can see the number 570 were sold as it says here. And then we can actually look at the sales history as well by opening the link. And now I can see the sales history. Okay. So I can see actually when it sold and how much this is really important because we need to know when it sold and eBay no longer gives you that sales history on the link. So this is good that you can pull it up automatically with this Google sheet, just with that link. And so we can see it really sold for $28.99. All right. Um, and that's the same as the list price in this case. And then of course I could do a reverse Google search on this product, um, for a manual approach. Uh, to see if, of course, if I find it at some different suppliers, it could be suppliers that you're you're aware of. It could be suppliers you're not aware of. And maybe it's just a similar product, not even the same product, right? It just kind of de depends. You might not even be looking for the same product. Maybe you just want to find something similar, right? Uh, here's Overstock, right? Twenty four seventy nine. Okay, so um, now I do also have an automated sourcing. I mean, um, the automated sourcing is more something I use in bulk for bulk purposes, which I would have to completely demonstrate what I mean by that. But basically what it means in a, in a nutshell is that, well, first of all, I go here and I start sourcing. Okay. That's going to automatically source, find sources. And then I have other means, uh, which does require external software to actually pull in the product data from these, uh, from many, not all, but many, hundreds of different online stores and skewgrid is the uh software that i use to do that um it can be done with a subscription but it's a lot more painstaking because you then have to upload it uh upload the sources and then wait for them and then download and then import it into hair and it's, there's a lot of steps but then i also have a new tool i created which is the skewgrid product data fetcher that uses the api service of skewgrid so that way you don't have to have a subscription. That's something you can only get through me. Uh, that is actually a service that you have to uh, get with me that right now in April, 2023, I'm running on a trial right now. Uh, and that's actually a service and that's gonna pull basically the product data, like the prices and everything of these sources. Okay, so that's really what this is for. If you wanna do like a bulk analysis of all of these without actually going to each one and looking at them. However, I'm finding that even without doing the bulk, even just going in and looking at these, even just opening something to say, okay, this sold, let me just open it, it sold once and let me see what it is. I'm finding this already to be highly useful just by itself. Okay. And then I might Google search this and then see what it is, right. And see what that product is that just sold for $5.99 here. And the great thing about eBay is that unlike Amazon, you don't have to get the exact match to the product. It could just be something similar just to get an idea of that. This type of product is popular. You can, you know, pretty much list, list anything. Once you have the images and the text and everything from eBay, right? You can pretty much just list it onto eBay, right? It doesn't have to exactly match the one that you found on eBay. Like with Amazon, you have to match the barcode and match the, get the same product, right? So even if it's just a similar product, um, that can sometimes work right with ebay when you sell on ebay so that's one thing i love about ebay um now that's basically the idea behind this and it's really going to help you potentially identify 
suppliers you might not be aware of or you know other suppliers and you can actually by the way continue the source in here automatically or you can actually automate continue sourcing it will just automatically continue sourcing every so many minutes um same thing with continue extracting pages if you want to keep extracting more pages of sofas this might not be enough you can actually just go ahead and automate it to pull um more pages of sofas with continue extract the pages and it will just continue um doing that every uh, five minutes or so i think it is all right um i don't remember right now if i said it i think i said it's every five minutes it might be 10. okay um so that's basically how this works okay and um yeah so basically again the idea of this video is just the idea of this video is just to show you that you can you don't have to search something so specific like a certain brand you can actually just search a category of product where's that search couches is what i did in this case and even sourcing that those search results will help you find sources and potentially you could find new suppliers and even profitable products from these sources and so that is basically the point of this um it takes then time to manually go through this and that's something you have to do that is the downside compared to software like zeke analytics where they can go right in and pull out the sales history show you how many you know and immediately put you in front of certain things but it comes with a price of course this is a basically free solution because there's no monthly charge for this it's not an api service so you can pull this ebay product data and pull this ebay product data all day for free all day and it doesn't cost you anything no bill at the end of the month right so and then you can still find some products uh on here okay so this is something that you can consider using if you don't have a copy you can get a link in the description of this video and um if you are interested in um doing searches by brand i have videos where i've demonstrated that as well and i do have actual brands list from different suppliers such as this list of 500 brands from walmart which you can use to identify to locate walmart products okay 500 brands different brands that i was that i found that sell at walmart that i was able to pull from the walmart site okay and i have some for other suppliers too so um that can come in handy as well and that is about it i mean just see the link the description of this video because i never know what else i might add to the description but basically if you want to get a copy of this uh system definitely find that in the description of the video and if you're interested in this screw good product data fetcher i didn't actually demonstrate it in this video but that's something um you can inquire about i have other videos where i actually demonstrated that but anyway that's basically it that's how you are going to search a category and then use this google sheet to pull the data mr mark look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you around on the channel